What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A couple of months ago, I purchased the Sony a6400 and I've had before that the Sony a6000 with the Sigma 16mm f1.4 and so I was always looking for a, a gimbal stabilizer because I was, I was always interested in that cinematic video footage and just getting more smooth uh, clips and shots and stuff like that. So I'm going to start rolling the clips of my workout video footage with the Sony a6400 paired with the Sigma 16mm f1.4 and the Zhiyun Weibo Lab. Now keep in mind that this is the only gimbal I have and so I don't have a lot of experience with uh, gimbal work and moving and stuff like that and so I'm, I'm getting more and more used to it but it is so easy to use and really really self-explanatory. There's a lot of different modes that you could uh, use um, and it's really really handy and when I was using it at the gym I think the most the best thing about this gimbal is just how small it is. It's literally smaller than my Joby Gorilla Pod and it's really, really easy to handle and lightweight. And then another really cool thing that you can do with this uh, gimbal is that you could attach something to the side of it. You could buy it on Amazon or probably be an H photo and, and all those different retailers and resellers uh, where you could, you could use your phone as a monitor instead of going out and buying uh, a monitor for a couple hundred dollars you could just simply use your phone now that feature is a little bit laggy and there is a little bit of uh, like playback lag when you're using your phone as a monitor but it is there and it is useful especially when you're outside and it's really really sunny and it's really hard to see uh, the screen on your camera you could just simply use that phone and it's really nice and helpful and then another really cool thing about this gimbal is that you could control all the settings on your camera from the gimbal itself and it's really really nice and easy self-explanatory and it was just so easy to use you literally just plug in um, the cord from the gimbal to your camera and then you just use that joystick and all the different features that it has to change your different settings if you want uh, on your camera without having to touch your cam the camera itself and then another awesome feature that I found about this gimbal is the way that you can switch uh, from just a regular hand you know grip like this to an underslung, I believe that's the that's the word, that's the phrase, underslung position, and you could just start using it uh, to get different shots if you want to get closer to the ground, or when you're at the gym, when we were benching, it was really nice and easy to use that underslung position because the bench is about near your hip, and so I would just hold it near my hip and just walk around with it and get different angles, and it's really really nice to use. Another cool feature about this gimbal is that you could lock the axes. And so when you're, you know, walking from one place uh, of the gym to another place, or if you're traveling, you, you know, you want to put it in your suitcase or your backpack, you can lock the axes and it doesn't mess with the motor. And so that's probably going to help the gimbal last a lot longer um, than the other traditional gimbals where the, the different components just start swinging around if you don't, you know, hold it properly. And so, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed this gimbal. And there's really no point for me to have my Gorilla Pod anymore, Joby Gorilla Pod. This thing is awesome. It's really nice and easy to use. Literally, it's so small. It fits in my hand perfectly. And I just love the fact that you can switch from just a regular normal grip to an underslung grip really easy and simultaneously. And so it's really, really nice, especially if you're, you know, into vlogging and doing your own kind of videos, because it does have actually the mode that I'm on right now is is POV mode. If you tap the POV mode three times, it switches the camera back to your face. And so I could easily just grab this thing. Actually, I'll do it right now. If I just grab it like this and then I could walk around with it and it'll follow me in, in different ways. And it'll also stabilize the video, which is quite important, especially if you have a camera like the uh, Sony a6400 or possibly even the a6300 or a6000 because it doesn't have in-body uh, image stabilization and so if you have a lens that also doesn't have optical steady shot um, like the Sigma series the Sigma 16 millimeter 30 millimeter 56 millimeter they all don't have op optical steady shot and so it's important to have that stabilization especially if you're vlogging or walking around or recording videos for clients or anything like that so really really awesome gimbal very easy to use and if you're like me you don't want to go into the gym or into a specific area or take your camera anywhere and it's so obnoxious and huge and everybody's looking at you if you don't like to do that then this gimbal i would highly recommend you guys to, to try it out because it's nice and small compact and 
you know, it doesn't bring a lot of attention. It doesn't bring any attention, actually. We were in the gym at a really busy time, and there were just a few people looking at us, you know, inevitably. But it wasn't because of the gimbal. The gimbal's really nice and small, and I was really, really comfortable using it. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple of uh, uh, slow, slow down clips, slow motion clips. And I tried to put a cinematic uh, sequence. Obviously, I'm not that good at it yet. But inshallah, I'm trying to get a little bit better uh, as the time goes by. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And inshallah, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure also, if you guys haven't liked this video already, please drop a like. It'll help me out so, so much. And subscribe if you're new. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.